Hi everybody, we're gonna do a Q&A today. We're gonna to do some styling. So we're gonna style this. This is a Vitali Barbaris Canonico cloth made up in our Model 3 sport coat style. And uh, it's a lovely cloth. It's 95% wool, 5% cashmere. I believe that's the case. Yes, 95 wool, 5% cashmere. The colors are what really do it for me. Um, it's a really interesting combination. So it is, the base is taupe um, with a little bit of white to it. Uh, and it's, you know, taupe, but leaning towards gray. And then that larger overcheck, that larger, thicker overcheck, that is gray, leaning a little bit even towards blue. And then finally, just to cap it all off, you have this very pale beige finer overcheck over the entire thing. Um, really unusual colors. The hand feels great. It's not too heavy. And uh, I think we could do some fun things with it. So let's have a look. Uh, you know, given the warm base, the taupe base, I thought it might be nice to start with olive trousers for this. So let's go with that. So here we go, we got the olive trousers there, like that. And why don't we start with something a little bit dressier. So, I think it'd be fun to do this pattern on pattern. You know, the nice thing about having these larger scale patterns is that it allows you to mix in other patterns, as long as they're very different in scale, um, and still make it coherent and not too chaotic. So we've got this finer butcher stripe in gray and white against this larger check. And, uh, you know, right now it's looking good, but it's looking um, maybe a little too subdued. So this is our chance to add some accessories and have the accessories really like stand out and bring some color into the whole picture. I like this. So this is a tie from Liverano. Liverano, as usual, always has an incredible color sense. And uh, so we have Liverano in kind of a mustard egg yolk sort of color. And what I like is that it's bringing together the color of the olive trousers, picking up the color in the taupe uh, of the sport coat, and just kind of unifying that whole thing. If you want to be very dandy, I think for the pocket square, you could add, and these are great by the way, this is by Kenji Kaga, and they're actually double-sided. So it's a flower pattern on this side, and it's a paisley on that side. And I actually really like the paisley. And I could definitely imagine the paisley like that. Strong, but you know, if you want a little of the color, like this is a great way to do it. Um, you could also just do a plain white pocket square, which for me, being a little bit low key, is probably my personal choice. As for shoes, you know, like it's so sharp and good looking this way, I would not hesitate to use an Oxford. Normally for me, if I'm in a sport coat, I prefer to use a Derby or to use a suede shoe. But in this case, I think an Oxford could be really nice. So this is Yohei Fukuda's um, Oxford. It's punched, which just gives it a little bit more informality and adds a little bit more detail. I mean, if you think about it, right, you've already got so much pattern on the upper part of the body. It's nice to actually balance that out with the shoe also having a little bit of pattern on it too. So you have put his Oxford there. I think that makes for a nice coherent outfit. Um, let's say we wanted to try a little bit different colors uh, rather than the mustard tie, actually, the navy version of that mustard tie is really good too. And just takes the color palette in a slightly different direction. See here, like with the navy, you're picking up more of that gray and blue thick check instead. But hey, to each their own, already. What else can we do? Uh, maybe something a little more casual. So rather than a shirt, why don't we try a bit of knitwear? It's getting cold enough. This is probably still a little warm for Hong Kong, but it's definitely gonna work in some parts of the world. Navy cashmere polo neck. You know, real simple. Um, you could do it with the pocket square if you wanted to. In fact, I'm wearing a navy pocket square today. That's kind of nice. This is the same Kenji Kaga one in navy. I like that. With, without. For me, I prefer it with. Okay, what else we got? Uh, let's go a little bit more informal. Let's look at some things we could do with denim instead. So this is our Nigel Caborn collaboration denim. And actually we just got restocked on this. So if you were looking for these before and uh, we were out of stock, they are in stock again. See, I love that against the Nigel jeans. 
And then for the shirt, I actually like a brown polo shirt. It's not something you see too often, but I think it's pretty cool. Brown polo shirt like that. And then a pair of our Realma Chelsea boots, which is like a nice round toe, chunky Chelsea boot. We do it with a rubber sole too. In fact, just a quick note on this rubber. So we actually pick this textured rubber rather than the day-night sole. Personally, I always find the day-night sole is a little too slippery. So I actually quite like this rubber and we decided to try it for this particular boot this time around. So there you go. Uh, just a couple little ideas for the Model 3 Sport Coat um, in Vitali Barbera's Canonical Cloth in taupe, brown, and gray. Thanks for watching.